Welcome to the Trend Micro Video How To's. In this video, we will show you how to configure application control feature in Worry Free Business Security Services. Worry Free Business Security Services application control feature allows the prevention of applications, regardless of their file extensions, from being executed. The default mode for application control is block. This mode blocks all applications specified by the application control rules unless if they are added to the application control whitelist. The application control is capable of targeting safe applications from the Trend Micro certified safe software list, file and folder paths, hash values, and gray applications. With Worry Free Business Security Services 6.6, .6, Trend Micro Application Control Service is introduced, which is the standalone module that is capable of providing rule-based policy matching. With the introduction of this service, the lockdown mode is made available as well. In this mode, an inventory scan is performed to calculate and record the SHG256 values of all applications installed on the endpoint. Any application that is not included on the list will be blocked. To configure application control in worry-free business security services, Go to the Configure Policy screen by performing one of the following. When in Classic mode, go to Security Agents and select a group where Application Control is to be configured. Click Configure Policy. When in Advanced mode, go to Policies then Policy Management. Click Add or click an existing policy. The Application Control configuration screen appears. Enable Application Control and click Assign Rules. Take note that for application control block mode, rule has to be assigned first, otherwise the feature will not be enabled upon clicking save. Click all rules drop down menu to filter if you only want to display allow or block rules. Click add rule to create an application control allow or block rule. Allow or block rule settings window will appear. Under match method drop down menu, you can create allow or block rule based on the certified safe software list file or folder paths, hash values, and gray software list matched criteria. Type in the rule name. For the certified safe software list matched method, click Managed Applications. This allows you to select applications to block from the Trend Micro certified safe software list. You can either allow or block applications by category, vendor, or application name. Trend Micro updates the Trend Micro certified safe software list periodically to include new applications. Use the search field to find specific application or vendor to block or allow. Select a category then select the application. To allow or block all applications within a category, select the application column heading. Click OK. The selected applications are added to the rule settings list. Click Save. The created rule is added to the Application Control Rules list. From the Application Control Rules window, click Add Rule to create an Allow or Block rule-based file or folder paths. Type in the rule name. Select File or Folder Paths from the Match Method drop-down menu. Click Add. Hover your mouse to the File or Folder Paths tooltip to know more about the supported entries and characters. Type in the Applications File or Folder Path. Press Enter as you enter each of the application file or folder paths. Click Add. The application file and folder paths are added to the rule settings list. Click Save. The created rule is added to the application control rules list. From the application control rules window, click Add Rule to create another allow or block rule based applications file hash. Type in the rule name. From the match method drop down menu, Select hash values. From the input method, you have an option to manually add the hash value of an application to allow or block, or by importing a CSV file using the import function. The hash generator tool is used to obtain the hash values of all the installed applications on an endpoint. To use the tool, download the compressed file which includes the executable file and refer to the readme file for the instructions on how to use the tool. To manually create a CSV file, download a sample format. Click Select File to upload the CSV file you have manually created. To manually add a hash value for an application, make sure that in the Input Method section, Manual is selected. 
Then, click Add. Type in the application's file hash. Press Enter as you enter each of the application's file hash. Click Add. The application's file hash is added to the file hash list. Click Save. The created rule is added to the application control rules list. From the application control rules window, click Add Rule to create another allow or block rule, using the gray software list method. Type in the rule name. From the match method drop down menu. Select gray software list. Click manage applications. The gray software list matched method is limited to proxy anonymizers, key loggers, packet analyzer, P2P, and password crackers categories. Select a category then select the application. To allow or block all applications within a category, select the application column heading. Click OK. The selected applications are added to the rule settings list. Click Save. The created rule is added to the application control rules list. To enable the created application control rules, put a check mark beside the rule. Then, click OK. In the application control configuration screen, the assigned application control rules are added on the group's application control rules list. Click Save. Application control configuration screen disappears and settings saved notification appears at the top. You can also create application control rules templates which you can assign to the groups in the security agents page. Go to the policies page then click application control rules. Take note that the application control rules created from the configure policy screen will also appear on this page. Click add rule to either create allow or block rule. To delete application control rules, select the rules. Then, click delete. A pop-up window to confirm the rule deletion will appear. Click delete. Rules deleted notification appears at the top. Go to the security agents tab and select the group where the rules are deleted. Click configure policy. Go to application control. The rules deleted from the policies page will also be deleted from the group's configure policy screen as assigned rules. To enable lockdown mode for application control. Go to Security Agents tab and select the group where Lockdown Mode will be enabled. Click Configure Policy. Go to Application Control and enable the Lockdown Block All Applications Not Identified During the Last Inventory Scan. Hover your mouse to the Information Tooltip to know more about Lockdown Mode. Enable the Exclude Any Process tree that originated from a Microsoft Sign program, including Windows Update. The Microsoft signed applications are mostly for Windows Update. Applications that belong to a process tree that originates from Microsoft is allowed to run. Click Save. Application Control Configuration screen disappears and Settings Saved Notification appears at the top. Thank you for choosing Trend Micro.